Namaste, my beautiful collective. We are doing a full moon collective reading for tonight's full moon. We're at January 6th. I have a little bit of time in my schedule to do this today, so I'm honored to do it. And we're going to just do a collective reading. Kind of wing it. I'm going to use my Stranger Things deck. Now that I figured it out, we will um, clarify with the light seers. And I have a couple of oracle cards. And we'll see what we get. We'll see what we get to with this. These cards are very big. So I'm going to start to shuffle. If you'd like to take a deep breath with me now. Put your energy into the cards. Take what resonates in this reading um, because it's a collective reading. Not all of the messages may fit for you. Don't try to make them fit. I'm finding miscellaneous cards in here. Hold on. <laughs> I think what I did a while back, I wonder if I should just leave them in there like a surprise, is I took a bunch of different decks and put them all together and shuffled. So these two cards came out. We have, I regret lying to you and rich, good gentleman. So that might be significant to somebody. We have more here, but interesting enough, that came out. So let's shuffle the energy into these cards. And then I'm gonna tell you what I've been channeling this week. You know, maybe like kind of a 2023 prediction type thing. And we'll get to the reading. It's a nice snowy afternoon. I'm off the roads. Here's a moonology one. Take time to breathe out. <laughs> I don't even know where these came from, but they're in there. Okay. It has to be what it was. So we'll do one more shuffle. So, as far as predictions go, there's a couple of things, just generally. Um, we are still going to have some food shortages. Um, I noticed, I think it was on Facebook, one of my neighbors was posting about eggs and how eggs are up to about, at least in the U.S. and the Northeast, about $6, $7 a dozen. And it's actually cheaper right now to get organic eggs than it is to get the cheap eggs, which the organic eggs are usually better for you anyway. But regardless of that, um, I feel like that's gonna go on probably until about April or May. We may see the egg shortage also at Easter, you know. Um, different things, not everything. Um, the other download I got, um, was some, somebody big, somebody big, either in Hollywood or some kind of celebrity, um, in the U.S. or could be other places too. I mean, it's not necessarily confined to the U.S., but, um, is gonna be arrested for something big, kind of like Weinstein, Epstein type thing. Um, and it's gonna take down, there's gonna be a lot of accusations. I kind of get this coming in. Um, we might hear bits and pieces of it at the end of the retrograde in a couple of weeks. Uh, and it's gonna kind of shock everybody. There's gonna be some misinformation with the retrograde. And then in February, and, um, in the summer, again, we're going to get more about it. Um, it's going to be like slow coming, and then it's going to be like all of a sudden we're going to have all this information. Um, Pluto is going into Aquarius, I believe, in March. Pluto, some people don't consider it a planet. It's the most powerful planet in astrology. Um, it has to do with the underworld, um, transformation, Deep, deep things, um, death, or regeneration, um, hidden, hidden things, things that are in the deck. Um, 
you know, a lot of stuff like that, like the darkness. Pluto is like the darkness. Um, it can be very intense energy, very powerful energy as well. Um, it's going into Aquarius, which um, would be the 11th house, you know, generally, which has to do with friends, um, social events, stuff like that, fame, entertainment. And I feel like that that ties into this big, like a lot of people in entertainment. And I really don't think Hollywood is what it was in the past. And no offense to anybody in Hollywood, but it's kind of, it's it's uh, tanking out, basically. Um, so you're going to see a big shift in that and the way things go with that. And um, lots of outings, like outs, you know, people getting called out in the entertainment industry in general. Um, so that's a couple of things that I have. I feel like um, things are going to kind of balance out a little bit around July or August, which is going to be nice. Um, you know, they're always hitting us. I try not to watch the news or the media because they're always hitting us with different problems. Um, but be, uh, you know, a lot of transformational, powerful things happening this year. Um, and it's going to, what Pluto's going to do is it's going to go into Aquarius and then kind of swing back into Capricorn. And when it goes back into Capricorn, um, it might bring up stuff from the past and then it goes back into Aquarius and um, you're gonna find out more information about things. That's kind of how I see it going. This also could be in your own life. Um, you know, maybe shocking events, very powerful or hidden things with friends. Um, um, stuff like that or in entertainment people that you know um, socially or creatively that there might be some shocking turns of events in these situations deep powerful transformation like I said so let's start off I'm glad you listen to me you're still with me here I'm going to start off with the stranger things and I figured out how to read this and we're just going to keep going. So, I had something about a rich, good gentleman. I regret lying to you, so I feel like somebody's lied. And take time to breathe out, so you might have been frustrated about this. Um, and this is the three of scoops. I originally thought scoops were cups, but they're actually pentacles. So, in the past, this could have had to do with some kind of a commitment with the Three of Pentacles here. Um, doesn't have to be like a marital commitment. It could be a friendship. It could be uh, friends, family, work. But there is some kind of commitment attached to this lie, frustration, and um, this rich, good gentleman here. So because this says that they're good, I don't care if they're rich, but because they're a good gentleman, this may be affecting them as well, or you could be a rich, good gentleman. The page of scoops, which would be the page of pentacles. Somebody um, also, we're gonna read these as past cards. We're gonna pull seven. Um, somebody wanting to give you a small offer, possibly younger than you, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy, uh, like a small monetary offer is what I get. We have a lot of scoop cards here. So now we have the five of scoops, which would be the five of pentacles, uh, which is being, feel like you're left out in the cold. Um, dark night of the soul, that kind of energy. Feeling left out, feeling sad, depressed, destitute. That's what the five of pentacles. So, you know, I don't know what's going on in these past couple of months, but maybe the offer wasn't big enough for you or um, this commitment was overwhelming or maybe a commitment broke off is kind of what I get. Hold on just a minute. 
I don't know where that music came from, but it was strange. <laughs> and it didn't vibe with me well. So, kind of freaked me out there for a minute. We're going into the full moon tonight about 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern time here in where I live. Um, and you could already see it on the road. Like we have snow and it's like a mixture of like a sleet. So it's like a kind of an icy mix. And the temperature isn't super cold, but it's, it's at the freezing mark. And the roads were starting to get slick when I was coming home. And people were still driving like it was dry out and there was no ice on the roads. It's beyond my comprehension sometimes, but I made it home safe and sound. I'm in my house. It's warm. It's peaceful. I got a nice meal cooking. And let's move on to the next card here, which is dice. Seven of dice, which is the seven of swords. You see how this is a treasure chest and it's open and there's a sword sticking out of it. Now, typically, in a regular tarot deck, the Seven of Swords means somebody trying to get away with something. And I just had this in a reading with, actually, with my Lightseer's deck right there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull this, and then we'll pull some Lightseer's cards. So somebody trying to get away with something, somebody lying, being deceitful. And then we have the Two of Strands, which would be the Two of Wands in reverse. So maybe you were waiting for your ships to come in and then you stopped. Something stopped you from waiting for this. Either you got really sad and destitute or somebody put you in a bad position by being deceitful. We have the 10 of spokes, which would be the 10 of cups, which is happy family. This could have to do with family, but it's upright. So, you know, there may have still been some good things going on with your family. Well, whatever was going on with this did not affect your family because that is upright. And then one more card, we have the Queen of Spokes in reverse, which would be the Queen of Cups in reverse. All right, I got the wrong, I have the wrong music on. Give me one second. I'm gonna pause this for a minute. Okay. All right, that's a little bit better. <laughs> the other music was just too much. It was overpowering for this. So the Queen of Spokes, the Queen of Cups in reverse um, is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Usually doesn't have to be. This would be um, the victim. You know what I mean? Like somebody that's always in victim mode, victim mentality. Always something happening, always a problem, always, you know, sad or sick or upset or depressed or angry or there's always something going wrong with them in their lives. They may be very needy. Um, if you're in a relationship with this person, they would be like very jealous, possessive, moody, um, and that kind of thing. Unfortunately, that's how it goes with, you know, that Queen of Cups upright is beautiful energy, but there's a dark side to this. All right, so we're going to clarify. Clarify the three of spokes for me. Ooh. My cards are ready to fly out of my hands here. All Four of Pentacles, holding on to something. Well, maybe somebody was holding on to you with a commitment. All right, let's clarify the page of scoops. We have the Three of Wands. So kind of looking forward to the future, looking out, lighting those torches for something to come in. This might have been this momentary offer from whoever this was. I feel like that was the energy. 
You know, kind of like throwing out some bait to see what they catch. And then we have the Five of Scoops, which is the Five of Pentacles. Let's see. The Hierophant. So, this actually, this destitute, this depression, this sadness maybe that you were put into has helped you elevate. Like the dark night of the soul has helped you elevate. You see that light all the way on the top of the stairs? And she's ec ecstatic. I shouldn't be doing that because I'm going to flip this around. Sorry. But she's ec ecstatic with this. Um, so whatever this dark night of the soul is, it really pushed you to heal and ascend, basically. And then we have the seven of swords or the seven of dice. Something else to say. Nine of wands. So I get that this might be somebody that's holding a torch for you, carries a torch for you. That tried to get away with something in the past or was deceitful or a little sneaky with their behavior. This could be a romantic thing. This could be a friend, a family member, or anybody. But, um, you know, they carry a torch so they still have feelings for you. Uh, but regardless of their feelings, it, it, it's irrelevant to the situation. They still were sneaky and, and um, underhanded with their energy. So let's do the two of strands, which would be the two of wands reverse. I'm not waiting for ships to come in. <laughs> and I get that. I get that. Like, you know what I mean? You might be trying to manifest something. Sometimes, you know, life throws us off. I've been kind of a master manifester um, over the past couple of years, and I still do it. But you get used to it just like anything else. You, should, you have to always be eternally grateful. Because once you start taking for granted your manifestations, that's when all of a sudden things will slow down because the universe is like, you're not appreciating these things, you know? Be grateful for every little thing you get. Everything that you have. Because some people would want that, you know? All right, so let's see what this has to say. We'll do one more shuffle. We have the King of Cups in reverse. So just like this moody Queen of Spokes here, we have the male counterpart to that. So there might have been some karmic relationship with somebody that a lot of times to um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy kind of what I get with this, this guy here, this card, is somebody that might try to act like a king. But honestly, they're bad shit crazy in some way. And I hate to say that. That sounds awful. Especially coming from me. But um, I get a lot of the stuff that they want to do in life and is fine, but then they're delusional in different ways. Um, so this would have been a very karmic relationship where these might be two people you know. And this is the kind of energy, and I mean, from my own personal experiences, and I don't date very much, uh, but years ago I did, um, and just from my clients, what I get from this energy is like somebody that would come into your life if you're a female 
and like love bomb you know, like the typical like I hate to say narcissist because it's so common now but like with those toxic traits and then they get bored or they get afraid of their feelings or their heart and they run away but whatever this dynamic was and they could run away to this person because they're really needy and some people both men and women or whatever you resonate with some humans okay are very independent um i am one of those humans <laughs> like i like my own personal space i have to have at least an hour or two to, i have all the time you know other than my working schedule um my life is my own you know sometimes you have obligations with family or with with stuff like that some people can't handle that they can't handle independence. They're jealous of it if you're successful. They need somebody that makes them feel big and not their equal in life. And the problem with that is if somebody is not your equal, and I mean equal as far as the same energy vibration, but also, because, you know, we're all human but also have the same goals, desires, interests, stuff like that. And if you're with somebody that's diametrically opposite of you, that, you know, is needy and you're independent, or, you know, vice versa, or they are more successful than you in some way, some people can't handle that. They want somebody they can control. Or they're just used to being miserable. And without that drama, life seems boring to them because they've never been in a healthy relationship. So that's all I get to say about that one. <laughs> but that's the kind of energy, both with this Queen of Spokes and this King of Cups in reverse. Both of them in reverse. So think about anybody that you may know. That would be like that. And if it resonates, it resonates. This doesn't have to be a, a romantic partner as well. This could be anyone. Okay, I just slide out of the way. So we have the Ten of Spokes next. This would be the Ten of Cups. That's happy family, happy home, emotional happiness. We have the world in reverse. So with the world in reverse, I feel like this is like the, you know, the world is like the conclusion of all the tarot. It's uh, the end of a cycle, a major cycle in your life. With the world in reverse, I feel like this has been a never ending story or a never ending cycle, like a perpetual, like Groundhog Day, if you ever saw that movie, just the same thing over and over again in a cycle and it just never you never feel like you're able to escape it oh. we'll take this card it fell out it's the four of cups in reverse so the four of cups in reverse um is you're coming out of the energy of being like um, not knowing, not seeing the love that's right in front of you, focusing on this past, the past three cups, focusing on your past or thinking that this beautiful cup of love that's coming towards you is not going to be, or it's going to be the same as this. Now you're coming out of this energy. So that's a good thing. And maybe that's what it was. You were so devastated in your past by whoever that person was. That, um... It just, uh... Maybe changed your attitude for, towards love and relationships for the rest of your life. Let's move on. I spent a lot of time on the past energy. So let's do present energy right now. What is the present energy? We have another Moonology card. We're going to take it. 
it says a new romantic cycle begins. So that was the first card and that's mixed in when I did my crazy, uh, let's get four or five different tarot decks and put them all together in Oracle decks. Uh, let's do, we'll do one more shuffle because these are difficult to shuffle. First card, Nine of Scoops. Back to the Scoops again. Which is the Nine of Pentacles. Second card is the Eight of Spokes, which is the Eight of Cups. Third card is the Four of Strands, which is the Four of Wands. The Tower. The Three of Strands, which is the Three of Wands. The Queen of Strands, which is the Queen of Wands. And the Hermit. Okay, so the King of Scoops is the King of Pentacles. So this would be a very presently, this would be a uh, typically Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, a king, a very financially uh, successful, uh, very abundant, okay? And then what we have, before I shuffle these, is the eight of spokes. So uh, walking away from a situation, you could be walking away from him, but I feel like maybe you walked away from somebody in your past, or you're walking away from this person. For this person, or this person, this king of scoops, is walking away from possibly that reverse queen of spokes. See what I'm saying? This would be the eight of cups, which is walking away from somebody. And then we have the four of strands, which is the four of wands, which is typically the uh, happy home, happy family, life um, card, the Four of Wands. Twin Flame 1111 card is what they call it. It's like the Twin Flame dynamic. So maybe you've met your divine counterpart. Or something good like this and positive is going to happen with this person if you're already together. Or you might be this person. Uh, but then we have the tower, too, so a shocking event. Things crumbling down, possibly because you're leaving a bad situation and you have to deal with all the um, collateral damage from it. Let's put it that way. And then we have these creative sparks with the three of st strands here. That's what I'm getting from it. Um, we have the queen of strands, which is Leo. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, typically female. A very creative person, very glamorous. Um, usually a lot of fun to be around in the upright. Uh, super creative. Uh, also very good uh, as, at business. And then we have a hermit card. So maybe presently you're trying to decide you could be one of these people but you're in your hermit energy, so you might be quiet right now. You know, kind of keeping a low profile. Oops. These are going all over the place now. The music's a little bit better. That last playlist I had on, I was like, what the heck was that? Nothing was wrong with it. It was just too much for me when I'm trying to read cards. So let's see, what about this King of Scoops spirit? What can you tell me? Angel spirit, guys. We have the Knight of Cups. So some kind of an offer. That he wants to make a romantic offer to you. Maybe get in his heart space. I don't think he's been in his heart space. He's been all business. See this light behind him, though? I feel like that's, you know, that's the glow coming from his heart. So it's kind of a pinkish color. And the Eight of Spokes. What does that mean? 
Angel Spirit Guides. Tell me about this card. We have the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. So this could have to do with work, leaving work, uh, leaving a past job situation, or you were working really hard and you're taking a break from it, is kind of what I get. Take it how it resonates. The Four of Strands. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe you, you are waiting for this because you don't feel like you have it all. I know this came in reverse, but I feel like there's somebody here I'm speaking to that actually has everything, uh, but that one pentacle, you know, that last one, but they don't feel like they have it all. And this is coming into you. This unbelievable love or whatever it is that you want, this emotional experience. And what's going on with the tower? Spirit, tell me. Here we go again. It's too many. Let me pick it up. We have the five of wands. So there's some kind of competition or conflict that's gonna cause a tower moment. Uh, if you look at this card, they're stepping on each other, pulling and competition. If this is in a relationship capacity, it's just no good. Yes, when you're dating or you're getting to know somebody, of course there's gonna be sometimes there's gonna be competition. Um, but if it's excessive, there's a, there's a problem. If they allow that to happen and show you that and it's excessive, then they don't have any interest in you. You gotta move on. And that might be what this tower is about. Maybe you have to do that with somebody. Maybe that person from the past. And if you're in an existing relationship where they're putting you into a competition, that's really not a relationship. That's, that's kind of, um, I'm not gonna say abusive, but, um, if you feel that way, if you feel like there's heavy competition and you're in a committed relationship, that's a problem. If you're not committed to somebody, then you have to remember whether you're that type of person or not. The competition is competition. I'm not one, I am a one man woman. So I don't go and date multiple people at once. I don't find that attractive. I have all I can do to find somebody one person that I'm drawn to and attracted to, they have interest in a lot in common with. So it's rare for me to, to find that anyway. But if somebody that, you know, might not have all those qualities for me at my age is going to put me into a competition with other people, no freaking thank you. But there are younger people that are in the dating scene you see what I'm saying? So I can't use my opinion with this. There are younger people in the dating scene that, you know, there's gonna be competition with different people. That's why you don't take things for granted. And that's why you have to have a little bit of a sense of independence and, a, and detachment in a situation like that. Because it can cause a lot of heartache for people. Let's do the three of strands. You know, some people like that. Some people like, some people like having competition or put people in competi competition with each other in the dating scene because they need that validation because they don't feel like they're good enough. So they have to get it from different men or different women. You know, you see a lot of these, you know, people online and I try not to judge, but they're posing or they're, you know, half clothed or whatever and live and let live. But, you know, they got everything hanging out or, you know, they're just, 
you know, have all these people like chasing them or whatever, that's for their own validation because they either need validation to make themselves feel better about themselves or they are, again, a narcissist, which is the same thing. They need that validation. They need that constant flow of validation. It's never enough for them because something inside of them is broken. You see what I'm saying? So three of strands. I could go in a tangent on any one of these cards and talk for half an hour. And a lot of it's, you know, I have so many clients that I deal with on a regular basis. Um, right now, I'm, I'm about 200 clients right now, but I've seen thousands of different people over the course of doing this for years um, and talked to many people. And so I have a lot of experience with this from the stories and the conversations I hear from different people. So three of spans. Is the page of swords in reverse. So you're being watched. Somebody's being watched here like a hawk. Could be in regards to this competition. It could be somebody from the competition. Or it could be somebody watching to see what your reaction is with this competition. Which is kind of funny. I don't know where that just came from. So keep that in mind. And you know, if you're in a situation like that, just take it for what it's worth. You know? And keep your options open as well. And keep your lane open. I know sometimes it's hard, especially, like I said, if you're in a committed relationship. But I look at it this way. Some people don't learn things until it's done to them. Hi, sweetie. She said, yep. Yeah. What is it? That's my Kit Kat. She's the cat I adopted last uh, April. And she's... Anywhere, they don't know how old she is. She's anywhere from 12 to 18 years old. But she walks like the Snuffleupagus. And she's my little girl. She's a sweet girl. She's a very magical little girl. She's very intelligent. Very loving. Like the queen of strands here. Very loving and creative. She just wants to talk. Sorry about that. We have the two of pentacles in reverse. So there's been um, somebody trying to juggle things. They can't juggle anymore. This could be this queen of wands. This could be somebody else, those people from the past. They're unable to keep this facade up, this juggling act up. Maybe too many comp people in the competition. Maybe they're just not winning in the situation. Maybe they're not receiving enough validation. Um, or it's just too much to handle. Or maybe, you know, maybe a couple of people found out about each other and they're mad. <laughs> and we'd just be sitting back watching popcorn, boy. That would be funny. And I, I, I don't mean it that it's funny, haha. -ha. It's not. It's not at all. But it is funny when somebody allows that to happen in their life to make people think that they're... Um, something special. Everybody's special. Everybody. But when somebody, you know, does that to somebody else, to, to intentionally hurt them, <coughs> excuse me, or intentionally make them jealous, and then they end up getting themselves into a bad situation. Okay. And then we have the Hermit card. So, so far we have some people from the past that maybe need to let go of. We have the tower card here, which I feel like, because these cards are in upright. One of those queen of spokes or the king of cups there in reverse, it's going to get let go. Somebody, whether this is a love relationship, a marriage, a friend, a family member, or a stranger, or somebody you just know. 
Take it how it resonates. And we'll do this Hermit card. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So this may have caused some pain, but I feel like, again, this put you into a Hermit mode presently. Well, you're learning about yourself. And you're finally, finally putting yourself first in life. As far as your emotional well-being and your heart. Because, you know, you can only put up with so much, especially if you're in a committed relationship. You can only put up with so much. You can only deal with so much. And that goes for everything. Like how long... Are you supposed to deal with that the same situation? Because remember, we had the world in reverse. So it was like this perpetual, ongoing thing. that It's like the never-ending story. So I feel like something's going to shift in that. This full moon energy is going to change the game. It's going to do a... It's going to twist it the other way. It's going to shift. And like they say, everything that... Anything in the dark always comes to the light, you know. That also goes for a change in fortune, a change in circumstances. You can only be put in a certain energy for so long. And if it's not the right energy for you, or it doesn't suit you, or it causes you pain, emotionally, physically, mentally, that situation is going to change at some point. Time changes everything. And we could go on to say time doesn't exist, but as a, in a as an earthly um, rule or structure, time is a thing, and it changes everything. All right, so future energy. For this. Getting deep today. We're getting deep. <laughs> My dinner smells really good. I got a nice roast going with some vegetables. Could be a yummy dinner. Okay. Here we go. Night of Scoops in Reverse. That would be the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, which is the slowest moving knight in the deck. Might be having some financial problems in the future. We have the Two of Spokes, which would be the Two of Cups in reverse. So I do, I definitely get like a breaking off of a relationship. Wheel of Fortune, so good fortune's coming in in the future. The Seven of Spokes, which would be the Seven of Cups. There's still gonna be those choices and options there. But you see the Wheel of Fortune, it changes everything. Like I said, it shifts everything. Then we have this, the Nine of Strands, which would be the Nine of Wands. So being strong in this, holding your own, and maybe carrying the torch for somebody like we saw in that other picture. We have the Five of Strands, which would be the Five of Wands in reverse. Um, that was that competition in the other card that we had in the Light Seers. And now it's in reverse. So in the future, that competition will be cut out. Whether people just fight with each other and, and that person who put you in a competition with somebody else ends up with nobody, or they just pick a, I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it, they pick a lower option. They pick an easier option. Like I said, somebody that's not as independent or intelligent or successful, that makes them look good. That makes them feel more important. I shouldn't say makes them look good. Sometimes it can be that. Sometimes it can be a physical thing. But a lot of times it's, it's not from what I've seen. Usually what it is is somebody that makes them feel more intelligent or more manly you, you know, like that kind of thing, if it's a man or a woman, more beautiful. But actions speak louder than words, you know? 
And then we have judgment. So there will be judgment in the situation. A couple of my, my uh, major arcana there. Let's do um, some more light seers. Holy hell. So there will be judgment and it's coming in fast. It's, it's coming in hot. Let me get some ginger ale. Mm. So I don't lose my voice. Ten of Wands in reverse. So yes, yeah, somebody, this person, uh, they're in financial peril a little bit, or things might be tight, and um, they just had a long road. It just seems like a never-ending long road. Just like that perpetual cycle. Clarify the, and this could be you too, the Two of Spokes. Be the two of cups in reverse. We have the ten of swords in reverse again. So, whatever pain was caused to you with this was heartbreaking. Um, you still might be stressed up, but I feel like with this wheel of fortune coming in next, uh, you're going to be over it soon. So even if you say you're not even out of this, you're still in this relationship and a breakup happens, you will be able to um, release that and move on quickly. And I'm not saying you're not going to be sincere, but, you know, you're going to have this Wheel of Fortune. Just and maybe you just know it's for the best, you know. Whatever this is, it doesn't have to be, again, a love relationship. But it kind of points to that. We have the Page of Swords again. So somebody's watching you at this point. They might be watching your success. You might get a message from somebody as well. That's kind of in an immature energy, but at least I want to be truthful. Uh, seven of Swords, which is... Seven of Cups of Options. We have the Two of Wands in reverse. So, yeah, you're not waiting for ships to come in right now. You're just kind of doing your own thing. And that, half, that came out twice. That's pretty strong. You might just want a break, you know. You might just want to live your life for a while single or... You know, away from whoever these people are that caused you this, this grief. Whether they're family members or friends or uh, co-workers or colleagues or whatever. You might want to rest. And then we have this, the Nine of Strands, which would be the Nine of Wands. The Six of Pentacles. So, yeah, somebody's finances are tight. They might not be as generous as they were or... You might not be able to be, you know, in the future, but I think things will change. Maybe you have to adapt to your finances or something. I don't think it's like extreme destitution and loss because we have the judgment card. We have the wheel of fortune, which is unexpected turn of events. So maybe this is what I get right now. I just, just came into my head. Like you were holding, you were holding a torch for somebody or holding a torch for a situation. You might not be as generous with holding that torch anymore. You might be over it at this point. And we're gonna do the five of wands again. So competition, somebody doesn't wanna stop at the competition. Um, it's a problem. So you might still face it a little bit or somebody will put you in this again. But judgment is going to be served with this. So just be very careful about who you feel energy with. 
who you get into a relationship with, or a friendship, or who you work for. Be very careful. Be very guarded. Um, I get and just um, be silent about what you're doing um, until you're done with it, you know? Don't tell people your plans because there might be a lot of competition. And we have the Empress. And it kind of came out sideways, but I'm taking it upright because I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, male or female or whatever you resonate with, it's all energy, you're the Empress. And you're the, the Queen of Queens, basically. It's all the best qualities of all the queens put together. So you're loving, you're nurturing, you're creative, you're beautiful, you're financially abundant, you're nurturing, um, you're fun to be around. You're like the total package. And you will get good things from this in the future. And judgment will also be called. So if you've been doing well, you know, you reap what you sow. I just said that in a reading yesterday too. All right, so some guidance cards. So if this is a love thing, let's get a couple of hidden truth cards. Only if this is a love thing, okay? Or you can take the card if you can apply it to a different situation. I think I'll just do a fairy dust after this and that's it. All right. Whoa. <laughs> wow. An explosion. A lot wants to come out, I guess, you know. But we can't take that many. So we'll take... We'll try to shuffle them one more time. And we'll take three cards. Cut the deck. You came closer than anyone. Just being near you is intoxicating. I am becoming a better person. Interesting. Um, yeah, might as well. We'll do a, uh, one of these Archangel Oracle cards here. I'll just do one of these. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was interesting. Counselor, Archangel Azrael, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. That's beautiful. So take that, you know, you might be like the one that everybody goes to, to talk to when they have a problem. <laughs> yeah, we'll do... Um, and these are all flip fluffed around too here. Let's see. We'll do the um, Allentine Wellness Love Oracle cards. Take three from that and we'll do a fairy dust oracle. How about that? How about that? We have healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love or life, self-love and self-care, being happier. So it sounds like somebody's making healthy choices. Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak. So that's kind of what I got. Freedom from toxic relationship or addictions. And then we have passion. Insane chemistry like each other equally, having fun. So this is going to come in for you once you get over that healing, that pain. And we'll do a fairy dust oracle to, to end this for guidance. And like I said, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, if you'd like to book a reading, I might have a couple of spots available on Sunday. Um, the link to my website 
is in the description box. It's just soulnivanaspirituality.com. And if you send me a message through there, um, you can book a reading with me. All the prices are listed for all my services. I also have a couple of other social media platforms if you'd like to check those out. I post videos on TikTok twice a week. And I do monthlies on YouTube. Um, and I try to do a little bit more than that. But I've been very busy through the holidays. So I'm going to get back into that now that we're done with those. One fairly best oracle card here. We have, be strong. When trouble seems to be brewing near, your inner strength will keep you clear. It's beautiful. So it says to be strong. I feel like I'm talking to somebody that's been very strong. And I hope you enjoyed this reading, everybody. Sending love to all of you. I thank you so much for watching my channel and watching my readings. And I hope you have a wonderful 2023. Um, keep yourself safe under the full moon. Cleanse your crystals. Um, uh, you know, if you're going to do any rituals or any manifestation, stuff that you want in your life. It's a good time to draw things in. Sending love and blessings to you. Namaste.